Hi everyone. Today we're going to draw a tizzle topped tufted mazurka from Dr. Seuss's book If I Ran the Zoo. And we're going to start at the very top. We're going to start with two ovals the same size. And these are going to be the eyes. So leave some room up here at the top for some feathers. And we're just going to go ahead and draw in the eyes. And then I'm going to go ahead and draw in his head. So I'm coming around from the bottom of the eye. I'm circling up and coming back around from the eye where we started. I'm going back up, coming up here, and leaving just sort of looks like a horn. And this is going to be his mouth. So put a little line there. It looks like he's smiling. And then I'm drawing a curved line down to here and back up to there. Okay, so there's our head. Now I'm going to draw a curved line this way and a curved line this way. And this is going to be some feathers. And I'm just going back and forth. These are going to be some feathers sticking up at the top. Now for our canary type bird, now we're going to decorate the bottom part. Now the bottom part can be as many pieces as you want. So we're going to start by drawing a zigzag line. And I'm keeping it narrow because I want to have room for it to be a tall neck. So I have one little spot done. I'm going to do another zigzag line. And I'm just going to continue with a series of zigzag lines. And the phrase from the book goes like this. Uh, go to the African island of Yirka and bring back a tizzle topped tufted mazurka. It's a kind of canary with quite a tall throat. His neck is so long, if he swallows an oat for breakfast on the first day of April, they say it has to go down such a very long way that it goes to his stomach the 15th of May. So that means he has a very long neck. So I'm still going down on my paper and we're gonna do one last row and I'm just doing a circle at the end for his stomach and then we're gonna have his little wings and just go ahead and draw it in like this and for his feet two lines two lines and then we just a zigzag line for web feet okay so there is our bird and we're gonna go ahead and color him in and you are the artist you can color yours in any color you want in the pictures, he's yellow and red and orange, but you can make it rainbow colors. You can make it purple or blue. And as an art teacher, I love colors, so I am going to go ahead and use all different colors. Now, this is easy to make using crayons or markers or colored pencils, whatever you happen to have. It all looks good. And we're just going to keep the beak area yellow. And once again, you just want to focus on staying inside the lines. And I think I'm going to make my bird different colors. Because I think he look more fun as a rainbow. So we're going to add some orange, we already have some red, and while I got the orange out, we'll just add a little bit of orange in other parts of his body as well. Let's go down, going down to the feet. Making those orange. Yeah, let's go back up to the here. We'll make another section of orange. And I've also seen where students have added stripes or polka dots or horizontal lines or diagonal lines or zigzag lines to their design. So if you want to do that, for example, this is I'll show you what that would look like. So I'm just using my pink marker, coloring this in nice and neat. And then if you want, 
You can take your marker and put in some dots for some polka dots. Okay, if you wanted to put in some stripes, you could put in some stripes. And maybe down here, I'm just going to follow the zigzag line back up. And you can make that another section of color. So there's no right or wrong. You are the artist. Use colors you like and make it even more fun and whimsical. So Dr. Seuss's birthday is March 2nd. So we're doing a Dr. Seuss themed project in honor of his birthday. His fun and whimsical work is always a fun one to celebrate. And he has a little quite a selection of books and different characters from his books so they're always fun to look at and to read and to draw now this is a book we don't read that often so I thought it would be fun to um, use a character from this book and let's see if we have any blue this is a nice bright blue now, as I said before, there's no right or wrong. You are the artist, so I'm going to go up to the end here. Maybe bring in some blue with this section. And we also have to do a stomach area, so you can also put a cool design down there if you want. Go back to the orange. Now for a stomach, I think we'll just put some lines every which way to represent some feathers. Some students did a spiral, so there's no right or wrong. You can do both if you want. So I'm just going to go ahead for a stomach area and draw in some little lines every which way. And I think I'll use the yellow. And we're almost done to you. Once you get to the stage, you want to still be careful coloring inside the lines. Make your bird look nice and neat. And when you are done, you have a really neat, cool version of Dr. Seuss's bird. And here is the finished drawing. Have fun.